Masta, welcome back to part five, alkalosis. Alkalosis is defined as a pH of greater than 7.45. There's two causes, a respiratory alka alkalosis caused by low CO2 and a metabolic alkalosis caused by bicarb greater than 26 or so. Next slide. The most common cause of respiratory alkalosis is hypoxemia, which I'll define as a PaO2 less than 60 uh, with a SpO2 less than 90%. Now, if you remember your drive to breathe, you know that the chemoreceptors kick in below 60, and so low PO2 uh, causes a drive to breathe in spite of whatever CO2 or pH may be. In this way, hypoxemia will cause tachypnea. This next slide goes over some of the common causes of hypoxemia, such as VQ mismatch, uh, which of course is shunt and dead space, and diffusion defect. A lot of diseases cause one of these conditions. So frequently, hypoxemia causes an increased drive to breathe and therefore a respiratory alkalosis, as hypoxemia becomes the dominant um, stimulus for breathing. This may in turn lead to an increased work of breathing, which, depending on how strong you are, at some point will lead to muscle fatigue. And as muscle fatigue sets in, the patient will hypoventilate and uh, CO2 will start to rise and respiratory acidosis may then occur. The patient will be in respiratory failure. So, as you see from this slide, respiratory failure or hypercarbic respiratory failure started by hypoxemia, uh, the patient flip-flops from a respiratory alkalosis to a respiratory acidosis, and on its path there may have a normal ABG for a while, so how do you, or actually normal acid base status. So how do you tell the patient with uh, a normal ABG from a patient who's in a respiratory failure with a normal ABG? That would be the patients that have an increased work of breathing and an increased minute ventilation, generally over 10 liters a minute, is considered too much to have to uh, maintain a normal acid base status. Of course, hypoxemia is not the only cause for respiratory alkalosis. Anxiety, where conscious control overrides the neuro breathing control, and pain may cause respiratory alkalosis. The fix should be obvious for both. To wrap up metabolic alkalosis, I want to mention the very uncommon uh, increase in bicarb, which usually happens when the physician gives too much. Sorry about my misspelling on that slide. Let me know in the comments if you find any misspellings on any of these uh, slides. Thanks. And remember, last point, alkalosis bad because it shifts the oxyhemoglobin curve to the left means oxygen won't leave hemoglobin. Thanks for coming by. See you next time.